Hello everyone, welcome back to TechCloud. In today's video, we are going to discuss about another version of IP which is IPv6 and its header. And if you are curious about knowing how IPv6 solves the IPv4 IP limitation problem, then watch this video till end. Okay, so moving on, IPv6 as called Internet Protocol version 6 and this version is the extended and advanced version of IPv4 which we are widely using these days. However, IPv6 is also being used in some technologies and where IPv6, IPv4 is 32 bit but IPv6 is consist of 128 bits. It has 8 section of 16 bits in each. So IPv6 is used in hexadecimal number like this on the screen you can see it has 3001 like this and then all these are 8 section of 16 bits in each. The main reason to bring IPv6 was the exhaust limit of IPv4 although IPv4 is enough at the moment but it can be exhausted in the future. So in IPv6 we can get billions of IP like an example in subnet we can get around 4.3 billions of IP. That's why IETF which is Internet Engineering Task Force introduced this standard in December 1988. Let's now look into the types of IPv6. Moving on, so we have IPv6 types also which is unicast address, multicast address and anycast address. Unicast address is just it identify a unique node on a network and it is usually usually referred to the single sender or a single receiver. Then we have the multicast address. It represent a group of IP address and can only be used as the destination of a datagram. Anycast address or we can say broadcast address. This anycast address being used to send traffic from one source to the multiple destination at the same time. Moving on, let's now look into the IPv6 header. So in IPv6 header, we can find the version, priority or traffic class, flow label, payload length, next header, hop limit, source address, destination address and extension. From version to the destination address, all these headers are the fixed header. Let's now look into that all those headers one by one. At first we have version which is 4 bits. Version indicate that which protocol, which internet protocol version is being used. There we have traffic class which is 8 bits. The traffic class field indicate the class or priority of IPv6 packet. It helps router to handle the traffic based on the priority of the packet. If congestion occurs on the router, then packet with the least priority will be discarded. So as of now, only 4 bits are being used in which 0 to 7 are assigned to congestion control traffic and 8 to 15 are assigned to uncontrolled traffic. Let's now look into the 0 to 7 priority which is assigned for congestion control traffic are like on the screen you can see. 0 is the priority which means no specific traffic. The priority 1 means background data, priority 2 unattended data traffic, priority 3 reserved, priority 4 as attended bulk data traffic, priority 5 reserved, 6 interactive traffic and 7 as control traffic. Other than this, Uncontrolled data traffic is mainly used for audio or video data. So we give higher priority to the uncontrolled data traffic for the seamless communication. Next we have flow label which is 20 bits. Flow label field is used by a source to label the packet belonging to the same flow in order to request a special handling by intermediate IPv6 router. Then we have the payload length which is 16 bit also. It is a 16 bit we can say unassigned integer field that indicate the total size of the payload which tells router about the amount of information on a particular packet contains in it payload. Next we have next header which is 8 bits. Next header indicate the type of extension header 
immediately following the IPv6. Then we have hope limit, which is 8 bits. Hope limit field is as same as TTL in the IPv4 packet. It indicates the maximum number of intermediate nodes in IPv6 packet is allowed to travel. There we have source address, which is 128 bits. And this indicates the original source of the packet, original source IP of the packet. Destination address is same 128 bits, which indicate about the destination IP address. And the most important we have extension header. Extension header is the advanced feature of IPv6 that break the limitation of IPv4. The next header field of the IPv6 field header points to the first extension header and this first extension header points to the second extension header and so on. So it is very important to know that the next header that tells us about that how many extension header is in there in the header packet. IPv6 packet may contains 0, 1 or more extension header but these should be present in their recommended order like on the screen we can see that we have the order header type and the next header code. Order number 1 and the header type is basic IPv6 header. It does not have any code. Hope by hope option have the code 0. Then destination option code 60. Routing header code 43. Fragment header code 44. Authentication header code 51. Encapsulation security payload header code 50. Destination option code 60. Mobility header code 135. No next header code 59. TCP header code 6, UDP header code 17 and ICB, ICMP v6 header code is 58. And all these code header, extension header are some meaning like hope by hope option mean it examined by all devices on the path. Destination option means it is examined by destination of the packet. Routing header mean it is a method to take routing decision fragment header means it contains parameter of fragmented datagram done by the source then authentication header it verify the authenticity and then we have encapsulating security payload means it carries encrypted data moving on same thing we can see in the YSI capture if we if that it has IPv version IPv6 version payload next hope hope limit, source and destination address. So this way if you have a YSI capture you can check the details in it. Moving on, let's look into that little bit about the limit and benefit of IPv6. The advantage of IPv6 is like it is reliable, it is faster, it is has the stronger security, it is good for efficient routing and the most importantly it is the final solution for growing nodes in the global market these days. Then that there are some disadvantages like conversion. So due to widespread present users of IPv4, it will take a long period to completely convert from IPv4 to IPv6. Then the communication. Since IPv4 and IPv6 machine cannot communicate directly with each other, they need an intermediate device intermediate technology to make that possible of their connection. This is all about fundamental explanation of IPv6 and I hope this video is helpful for you. If you would like to know more about the header of TCP, UDP, IPv4, DNS, DHCP, FTP, SMTP, ICMP and many more protocol. If you would like to know, we have already uploaded the videos and also share the link in the description or you can visit the channel page. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment or suggestion or query, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you in the next video. Take care. Thank you for watching.